Insert the two O-shaped loops into the driving gear groove. Install the locating pan to the driving gear. First install the stop ring on bearing 50118, then fix them on the driving gear. Make sure the stop ring is downside. When assembling, use the special tool to install the stop ring into the driving gear step groove. If outside the working shop, please use the straight tip plier or something else. Put the fixed block ring on the driving gear, lay it horizontally and slightly knock it in. Reverse countershaft gear, reverse countershaft, cup shaped thrust washer bearing 14287, reverse thrust washer, faucet, flat gasket lock nut. Put the flat side of the reverse countershaft gear upwards and the protruding side downwards. Insert bearing 14287 into the inner gear hole, knock it flat, then insert the inner bearing loop. Install and turn the reverse countershaft, cup thrust washer into back gear thrust washer, fasten the nut, flat gasket lock nut. Brake housing, piston and dowel, head cover and gasket, four bolts, two kinds of different lengths. First insert the O-shaped loop into the piston, installing the dowel, and then install the piston into the brake housing. Attention, the dowel must match the dowel hole of the brake housing. Connect the head cover and gasket. The short bolts insert in the inner side and the two long bolts outer side. On the right reverse countershaft assembly. Install the cup-shaped washer and reverse countershaft gears into the transmission housing. Load reverse self-locking nut of countershaft and washer and screw down. Use a copper stick to rivet the outer ring of 42307E bearing with the bearing number outward. Then insert the left countershaft assembly to the transmission housing with the datum parts of the driver gear upwards. Install input shaft assembly from the inner out with input shaft outside and gears inside, then use a copper stick to knock them to right position. Insert the stop ring to the groove of bearing of input shaft. Timing left countershaft gear with input shaft gear. Load rear bearing 102308E of countershaft assembly and use a copper stick to knock it to right position. Show up the stop groove and mount the stop ring to right position with the pliers. Check up timing of input shaft gear and countershaft drive gear and insert the front end stop ring of countershaft to the groove in the front of the countershaft. Load the gasket for 192309E bearing onto front part of countershaft, then mount the outer stop ring to the bearing. Use a copper stick to knock the bearing to the right position. Install the front baffle of countershaft and the pin. 
When screw the bolts, you need to baste the mucus and fix them. Install the right countershaft assembly to the transmission housing and move it to the side of the housing. Put the datum tooth of drive gear at the position of the datum tooth of the input shaft so as to be convenient for timing later. Add lubricate grease in the main shaft guide sleeve. Install the main shaft assembly to the main case housing. Firstly, with the front end higher, then move main shaft backward and downward. Later, put the front end of main shaft into main shaft sleeve of the input shaft. Load drive gear assembly at the back of main shaft so as to guarantee location of main shaft assembly. Time right counter shaft with gears of input shaft, then install bearing 102308E at the rear end of right counter shaft and use a copper stick to knock it to right position, showing up the stop groove. Install stop ring to right position with the snap ring pliers. Install front end stop ring of counter shaft into the groove in the front of the counter shaft. Install washer of bearing 192309E at the front end of the counter shaft and set the outer stop ring on the bearing and use a copper stick to knock the front bearing of right counter shaft. So the front baffle and bolts of the counter shaft assembly, coat glue and make it tight and solid when setting the bolts. Check out the timing of counter shaft again, rotate the input shaft to see if it can rotate freely and if the timing has moved. Install the left reverse gear counter shaft with the convex in the front, insert the reverse stop cone between the reverse counter shaft and the cup shaped washer, then set them into the housing together with the gears. Knock the reverse counter shaft slightly with the copper stake. Add washer and use self locking nut to tighten it. Knock the bearing 2307E into the transmission housing with a copper stake with the marked face outside. Dismantle the locating drive gear assembly. Move the reverse gear of main shaft to the back and let the two reverse counter gears mesh with each other. Insert 14750 stop ring to the groove on the reverse gear main shaft. Install drive gear and inner spline of the drive gear meshes with outer spline of the main shaft. Can knock the driving gear. Set the stop ring of drive gear in the groove at rear end of the main shaft and use a screwdriver to prise the main shaft backwards. Pay attention to the main case operation. Set the sixth bolt on the locating plate of drive gear and screw it into the screw hole on the housing and sheath with the wire to prevent off. Coat bearing 42307E with lubrication grease so as to prevent ball of the bearing from dropping. Coat two locating pins on the housing with lubrication grease which is good for installing the rear cover of auxiliary case and add a gasket. Use a special clamp of rear cover of auxiliary case. To set the auxiliary case synchronizer at the low speed position. Lift up the rear cover assembly of auxiliary case. Firstly, install part of the assembly and adjust the space between rear cover and main case housing. Then push it in but not knock. Then set bolts around the rear cover and there are totally three types of bolts. The four longer ones are set at the convex part of the cover and the shortest one is set at right side of the outer cylinder and the left ones are the same. Screw down the bolt around the rear cover, remain two bolts loose which will be used to paint up wing pipe. 